In this video, we're going to take a look at the variance, covariance uh, of stock price returns, and we're going to set it up in a Python notebook in uh, Google Colab. And to understand a little bit uh, what we're trying to do here, we take the variance, covariance for a set of asset prices. So this is an example I've done before in Excel and in Google Sheets. And we take a series of stock prices. Um, these are annual observations. And we do that for General Electric, Microsoft, uh, Johnson Johnson, Kellogg's, uh, Boeing, and IBM. And this is an example that I originally uh, took or adopted from Simon Beninga's um, textbook uh, in financial modeling. So uh, following the approach uh, of uh, Simon, um, we estimate the returns using uh, the log difference. So we took the ratio basically of the log prices and then um, we obtained the lo natural logarithm and that gives us a return, a continuously compounded return. And then we took the average of those and then we followed by using uh, the excess differences, excess returns. So we subtracted from each uh, return, we subtracted the average return and we had a new uh, column of data for General Electric and likewise for Microsoft. If we go down, we can see that in each instance, we obtained excess returns. And then we performed a matrix operation using the same type of uh, functions that we would typically use in Excel. And we obtained a variance covariance. So using that exact same data set, right, um, I'm going to import into a Google Colab uh, Python notebook uh, that CSV file. I can do that by coming here, just uh, double clicking on the folder. Sometimes it takes a moment for this to appear. Uh, give it a second. If there's a little bit of latency, don't worry. It might take a minute sometimes. Then we come here to the three dots. We upload and I have this file in my downloads. Um, and uh, so just go into downloads for a second and I look for the CSV file that I have there and I'll leave a copy of this available in the link on the, the Vinegar Hill portal. So it's this first one here. This is just to be clear, um, it's the CSV file. And that's what we're going to read in. So it's Microsoft Excel and then CSV. Um, and can I manipulate that a little bit? Let's just see. Okay, so Microsoft Excel comma separated value file. Okay, so I just take the first one here, my case, but I will leave a link there. Now this will only stay live while we're connected, while we have this. Once we shut down, it's gone. And it's also important, I, know, I noticed that you move the sample data down here. Right. So you take it from here and you move here. And then we can read in. So the, the name of the file here is the Varco, uh, Varkov price data. That's what we have here. We've just uploaded. And uh, we don't need to look at the data head. So we'll just uh, pound sign that out. And I'm going to estimate the returns like I did before by taking the log difference. Right. So we're going to take the log difference and we're going to, and we can report that back, right? So let's just run that. And you can see here, we get that 0 0.56, that's 56% continuously compounded and zero, negative 0 0.01. And if we compare like against like, let's compare this, this, and this one here. See, did we obtain the same? So we have five, six, uh, 18.23 and 31.8. 
we can go further, I don't think it's necessary, 7.9, okay? So uh, it looks like they tally. And then to generate, so remember, <clears throat> maybe key point to note here, to generate those returns, normally to get the percentage returns and the price, we just take uh, the PCT, percentage underscore change, uh, open bracket, close bracket. But that's not what we're using here. We're using a continuously compounded return. That is the nat the natural log the difference in the nat the log difference, right? The log difference of the data that we had read in here. The data that we had read in, and then to generate the variance covariance, which involves quite a few steps and a little bit of uh, matrix um, manipulation. We just have to hit the execute button here and we get our output. Now we can copy, sure. We can copy that and just go back in and paste and make the comparison then with what we have here. Okay, so I have to use control V Oh, let's see, try it one more time. No, doesn't allow. Okay, so not to worry, we can say the 0 0.1035, let's compare 0 0.135, 0 0.075. So that's the covariance between Microsoft, between Microsoft, let's run it again. Uh, 0 0.0758, 0 0.0758, and we have IBM 0 0.0123. So that's the covariance between IBM and General Electric. And we have the same here. And then one last one, the variance of IBM 0 0.01839. And we have the same here. So it looks as if that works quite well. Last estimate we might run is just taking the average returns. And um, we have 0 0.23, 0 0.21, 0 0.18. And we can come back a little bit. 0 0.23, 0 0.21, 0 0.18. So they, they seem to tally as well, the average returns. Uh, tally also. So, so that's a, a, a way of estimating the variance, covariance. Um, I leave a link uh, to this data and I'll also leave on the Vinegar Hill uh, a link uh, to the Colab. I'll embed in the Google Colab. So just double click and you'll be able to run.